Hello everyone, I'm back with a new revision of the auto-tuning code. I've kind of switched gears in the code, did some refactoring um, to move away from tuning the PI gains in the stabilization um, area and move to tuning the PI gains in the rate um, area it's because those are much more important um, as I've learned through tuning my own um, copter and reading the wiki over and over again. <laughs> um, I'm kind of developing a better understanding of these of these um, PID loops and how they function. Um, so right now I've refactored the code to look more closely at the rate gains. Um, so we'll look at that. Um, a couple things have changed. Um, first off, to start this auto-tuning process, I'm just going to assume that you know how to get your own simulator up and running. Um, but for this process, we're going to set the stabilization gains to the P gains to 1. And then the integral and derivative gains to 0. So again, for stabilization, the gains would be 1 uh, for P and 0 and 0 for I and D for integral and derivative. Now for your rate gains, um, you can start with whatever value you, you think is pretty close for, for your rate P um, for the proportional gain and then set the I and the D integral and derivative to zero. So really the only value that's going to have an effect on the system is going to be the rate proportional gain um, to start with. So that'll be our starting point. So I'm going to write these values. So now I've got 1 for my stabilization P and 0.159 for my rate P. So I'm going to switch over to my simulator. I'm going to arm it. And then again, I'm using channel 7. Uh, switch on my radio for channel 7 to, uh, to actually toggle this tuning process on and off. Um, so I'm going to bring you know, this up to a hover. Um, and then I'm going to switch this on and we'll see what happens here. So right now I'm actually in the code I'm adjusting the proportional rate gain in increments starting at 0.25. Um, so it moves it in kind of decreasing increments just like it did before so that we kind of achieve better resolution um, the more iterations that we perform. Um, something else that's changed which is what I consider a great improvement is that the performance value that that I explained in my previous post which is essentially the distance between the overshoot and the compensation. Um, what I'm doing is I'm scaling that um, according to how far the copter rolls initially because that has a great effect on you know how far it's going to oscillate back the other way so previously you kind of had it was kind of like you know hopefully you were doing it relatively close and consistently every time but now it actually scales automatically it scales that performance value um, automatically so right now it takes about you know, I, I think it's like eight iterations before it's finished tuning the p-value, um, the proportional gain, and it moves on to the integral gain. So it looks like it's already on the integral because it's a little bit more responsive than it was previously. So I'm just going to do this a couple more times, and then we'll go see the configuration screen and see what you know what values this has come up with. And then I will tell you what I've been doing thus far and getting really good results. Um, now the problem is with this is that I feel like you know I've been staring at this code for literally like days um, and making changes and trying to improve it, and I feel like I'm I'm so close to it that I I might be missing something big. Um, so I don't know if any of you other guys are software developers out there, but. Um, I write software for a living, and this, this happens if you look at the, the same code a hundred times, you know, you may not be the one that finds the issue. So I'm hoping that people out in the community will be able to take a look and uh, tell me if I'm missing something from the equation. So I'm going to switch back to the planner, 
refresh my values and it looks like my rate um, went up to 1, 0.191 and my integral went to 0 0.014 so this is where um, my method gets a hair fuzzy what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the rate derivative to 0 0.003 less than the rate integral gain so that would be 0 0.011 in this case Okay. Now for my stabilization, I'm going to take my rate roll, which is 0 0.191, and I'm going to add that 191 to, to the 1 of the P. So my P ends up being 1.191. And then the stabilization D, I just throw this at around 0 0.004 to start with. So again, this is kind of, you know, this is a manual uh, process right here where you kind of start having to fin fin you know, fiddle around with stuff. But because the rate proportional gain is the most important value, that's kind of what I decided to focus on is to get that rate proportional and integral um, value set. So I'm going to come back to the copter here and just see how this responds. So there's a little bit of overshoot coming back so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to my planner um, and I'm gonna see if increasing my stabilization um, derivative value by 0 0.001 will help us out so yeah it's a hair better so but you can see how how responsive that is well that was a heck of a lot better right there um, I mean, when I'm moving left, it snaps left, and it, it hones right in at that angle that I want it to. And then I let it go, and, you know, it returns pretty well. Um, so, actually, I was pretty impressed with, you know, with the results that I'm getting in this simulator um, compared to the tuning method that I had used in the past, which was really focused on the stabilization gains, which was wrong. Um, so... 0.191 for the proportional, 0.014 for the integral. I'm thinking that the integral actually needs to come up just a hair on the rate. Um, and maybe the D as well, so let's just see what that does here. That's pretty good. Um, I was actually seeing better result, a little bit better of results earlier. Um, to a certain extent, this is repeatable. If I set a different initial gain, it will arrive at around the same proportional gain value. But as I said before, it's pretty good gains. Like this is not exact. It, it just kind of uses this oscillation, which is what you are normally tuning with by eye. You know, normally you're just kind of eyeballing this and you're saying, oh, it's oscillating, so I need to do X or Y with the gain. Um, this is making it, making it into something quantifiable in code so that it can adjust the gain for you so it's not really just line of sight. Now, there is some adjustments that have to be made after the fact, which I've, you know, learned here. Um, so it is kind of limited in that, but at least it, it gives you a ballpark of what your rate gain should be. In the case of my large octo, um, it turned out that I was tuning my proportional rate gain down, which was really hurting my ability to control it, but I didn't understand that. So <clears throat> by using this, I actually saw that my rate had to go up. Um, so once I increased the proportional gain, my octo flew like a dream. It was ridiculous. Um, it was like night and day. So. Um, hopefully, you know, you guys can take a peek. Maybe we can get some other testers with better um, simulators because flight gear is pretty crappy. <laughs> um, and uh, maybe some people to review my code and just take a look and see if it's, you know, even worth using as a building ground for maybe something more sophisticated.